Hey, good morning. Um, I uh, am going to do a card pull reading right now. So um, I don't usually make videos. I usually just do it. But then I'm like, well, then I'm not showing the process and how I do it. So but I wasn't planning on doing it right now, except for that I was shuffling my cards. Well, I was. OK, anyway. I'm also baked, so, and I was meditating, and I was watching videos and filing, so, um, I've really stretched some fucking time already today, it's fucking amazing, okay, so, I wanted to, I was shuffling, and then the Joker jumped out, but it's not just one card, and I haven't looked at it yet, so I was like, alright, I'll put the camera on now, so, we'll see what happens, so, it's the big joker. <laughs> ha! Ha! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's cool, man. That's cool. That means like a big, something big having to do with Lilith. And she is the queen of spades. And I think that's awesome because I just played ace of spades for my nomies. And, uh... Yeah, man, that's pretty fucking cool. So, I don't know. Something big is going to happen. And for me, this is very good because this is part of my work here that I really need to, uh, this is, yeah. So, something big having to do with Lilith, also having to do with uh, spades and shovel symbolism, you know. So, there is that. So now, like, when usually when I do these reads, I just sort of, like, I'll start laying cards, and I just lay them as my energy tells me to lay them. I don't have, like, a set grid or anything like that. And then I also let the, t the cards kind of tell me sort of where they should be in the read, and then I need to kind of look at them. You know, I look at them individually as they're coming out. So this way I give you an idea of like what my, um, what my process is like, kind of. So anyway, um, all right. Ha! Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Uh. <laughs> uh. Fucking go. I'm ready, dude. I haven't seen it for a long time. It's the only one that has to fucking dig, dude. Peoples. Know me, homies. Every bubbies. All the birds. Good morning, birds. Crow. Hi, Crow. How you doing, Crow? Alright, that's funny. What's up? What is up? Everybody dig. Dig deep. Fucking dig deep. Alright. Um, you know what's interesting? I should show you this paper, actually. Um, but I was recognizing something this morning, so I was thinking about, like, what are, what, what are like some of your main problems, Jess? Let's like, socially, like, let's fix, let's really figure this shit out. So, um, I, I wrote this on my, I wrote this on my clipboard. I don't know if you, it's upside down probably, maybe. I bring out the worst and best in people. And I do, not everybody. Some people I only bring out the best. Some people I only bring out the worst. Some people I have a neutral effect on, but not very many. Not very many people do I have a neutral effect on, you know. It's usually some kind of thing. And that's part of why, that's part of why I've been in a cage, so to speak. That I've, I've enjoyed, actually. That 12th house north mill, to a certain degree. Dug really fucking deep this last 10 years. Holy fuck think about it. All right. So 
Um, also on the page, I have a series of fours and eights, um, which symbolize infinity and the layers of infinity. There's layers upon layers upon layers of infinity that we build out in whatever way we need to, in whatever way we choose to, in a way that makes sense for us. Vibrationally, but also frequency. And the fours are squares to some degree. And you really need the squares. You really do need the squares. However, you gotta learn how to use the squares to work with the squares. And then you have to work with the transits. Then you have to work with the fucking transits. But anyways, it's not just about that either. Um, it's a whole other, there's a whole other more to it to me. But um, <laughs> this is funny, isn't it? This ice cube melting, I put this here for my Lilith. <laughs> Uh, she has been frozen for a very long time. So, um, not that I'm making a reference to, um, that movie because I've never seen it because I've kind of had like a bias against Disney for a long time. I was programmed with early Disney, which obviously I prefer, but, um, now that they own everything, I kind of can't not pay attention. So anyhow, well, I mean, I can, I can, I can totally not pay attention, but it's one of those things that just sort of like, if you're like looking at anything in the world at all, you're going to see Disney. Almost, almost, maybe. Actually, I haven't. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let's hear it neither here nor there. And then also I recorded a video the other day and, um, so I was just discuss. I was trying to figure out what I was going to title it. I'm not sure how I want to title my videos yet. So I'm just sort of th just throwing them up there. Um, sometimes with a, as Ariel would put it, pithy title, but sometimes not so poetic, sometimes something different. So, um, but anyways, that one is about uh, jealousy and gossip and choosing your battles and, and then obviously me <laughs> because me um so but anyway so let's get on with this so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put these guys up here because i kind of like that i don't want to bring out the worst in people i really don't want to bring out the worst in people so let's let's use let's we're mastering lilith here we're mastering lilith here oh my god i'm very intimidated by my next challenge i'll tell you that right now as far as i can see it anyway it's going to be really good, though. It's going to be really fucking good. All right. Oh, with Venus. Of course. Who has Venus conjunct fucking... Who has Venus conjunct Chiron, you ask? This gal. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. I... You know what? If I bring out the worst in you, I would like to try to help us work through that you know what I mean if that's possible I don't want to bring out the worst in people but I fucking trigger people I just do I just fucking do just fucking do sometimes we all do we have to recognize that right but I don't know there's something about me that's more of a I'm more of a trigger for people than normal people and I Anyway, okay, what do you what else you got for me? What else you got for me? Oh, look at how nice benefit. Oh, you can't see. You can't even see what I was doing the whole time. Shoot. Alright, we'll move it over, sorry. Um wow. Wow. That's nice. 
<gasps> the little joker. I have to give, oh, I have to have the benefit of the doubt when the little joker comes. This has definitely got to be over here, though, still. Because worst and best, right? It could be worst, it could be best. It could be black, it could be white. Um, I'm thinking of that Public Image Limited song. <laughs> that fucking hilarious or what who what is this what what is even what is this don't even get it oh here's mercury the jack of diamonds jack of diamonds yeah oh how nice with palace mercury is with palace that's fantastic in the 10th house mercury and palace in the 10th house. All right, so that means I really have to really use my fucking head now. <laughs> I really have to use my fucking head right now. Um, you know, about how I want to be uh, seen and uh, felt and understood. You know, but Personally, I'm not cunning, necessarily. That's why I say, like, I don't, I will confuse you when I play chess because I have no strategy fucking ever. I never fucking have strategy. I do. No, I shouldn't say that at all, actually. I can be quite strategic, but when it comes to certain things, it's just like, let's go. Let's just fucking jump in and fucking go. Let's see what happens, you know, kind of a thing. But... So I gotta be more, I gotta be maybe a little less trigger happy. Trigger happy. <laughs> where, where you ask? In the eighth house. Always in the eighth house. It's the eight and the two, even though it is. Of, ooh, ooh, Uranus. Ooh, Uranus in the eighth house. That sounds fun. Demeter, well, upside down, she is a heart after all, and she is a four after all, isn't she now? So anyway, I'm going to go back and I'm going to be thinking about this more. I'm just laying the cards right now, and I'm just sort of like assessing the cards as they're at their face value, and to a certain degree giving some reference, but this is interesting. I mean, you know, I don't know what kind of necessarily divinatory value there is in this for anybody else, but I'm showing you a process that is work. It works for me. And actually this is the first fucking poll I have done in like a long ass time that neither Louis Guzman or Paul Giamatti has shown up. This is really, I wish I would have got the shuffle on the camera so you could see it. I always feel like some of the shit is so fantastic that it doesn't seem real. But it is fucking real. It's really fucking real. Oh, how nice! Oh, how nice! The farmer and Demeter in the same, in the same place. That's nice. Yeah, dig in, dude. Dig in. Jack of hearts. Jack of hearts. <clears throat> oh, I see that. I see what's going on now. Can you see that? You see that? Uranus in the eighth house putting together... Demeter, who is now upside down, who is now, I would say, unbound with a farmer in the eighth house. I do like that. I like that very much. Should we keep going? Should we keep going? We always keep going until it 